Hello everybody, it's Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries and we are talking about marriage today. Not just only if you're married, but if you're looking for that amazing spouse, well we have the perfect matchmaker. And even though I look like a matchmaker, it's not me. We have the perfect matchmaker and the guests today are going to talk about who that perfect matchmaker is and they're going to share their story of how they met each other. It's an amazing story, they got amazing advice, great website, great ministry. Check them out right now. Hello, it's Paul Neeson with Torah Life Ministries. Introduce yourselves. I'm John, she's Kelly Mills. And uh, John and Kelly, you've uh, recently got married. You've been married uh, 18, 18 months. months. 18 months now. And explain to the people out there, you know, from a Torah standpoint or from a Bible standpoint, the difference between being married and being believers versus being married and being non believers. Wow. Well, it's just like daylight and dark. Mm -hmm. uh, to, to be in Torah, is to uh, keep the commandments and and do things God's way. Amen. Amen. And that starts with letting God make the choice for your mate. That's uh, we both were married prior to this, and so we both know what the difference is when when you you choose the person out of your own flesh, as opposed to you wait on. Yahovah, and you let him do the choosing. Uh, it's amazing. Well, why do you think so many Christians today are actually end up in divorce? Well, because they, uh, I believe that they uh, are allured to the flesh uh, most of the time, and uh, it's just the opposite with us. We we had both been married before, like we said, and and. Uh, we went to this MIA conference and uh, we met one another, but it was because I was on my face before the Lord and uh, and you tell the rest of that story. And I was attracted to his worship. I'd never seen a man on his face in worship before, so abandoned to God. And so, of course, that I'm a worship leader, and it really attracted me to his worship that I would find a man that was just so surrendered to the Lord. Sure. And what advice would you have for others? Because now you teach about marriage, marriage and marriage classes. So what exactly do you teach? And your ministry shifted a little. You do a worship still, but now you also yes. do marriage seminars. And uh, so what do you teach and what advice would you have for others? Well, first of all, like we said, we're, we're encouraging especially young people to be willing to wait and let God choose their mate for them uh, because he, he's doing these, we believe he's doing kingdom marriages, kingdom marriages. in this time frame, uh, which means that he's putting two people together that he believes are going to be able to serve his kingdom purposes and walk out these last days together serving his purposes so that you know, we're no longer, it's, well, here's the main thing I want to say to the women, is uh, Genesis 24 is that beautiful story of Eleazar sending, um, or, or going to find a wife for Isaac, and he finds Rebecca, and he asks Rebecca's family if he can take her back, and the family says, yeah, you know, but, but we want her for 10 more days. Then he goes to Rebecca in Genesis 24, and she says, immediately, I will go. And I'm thinking, how did she know? Well, she didn't ask what he looked like. She didn't ask how much money he had. She didn't ask if he was fat or skinny or if he had kids or anything. She just said, I will go. And so my advice to women is that, that they have to trust that when the Lord brings the man, that he's going to put a love in their hearts for the man and that it's going to be the right man. And the thing that I would say about that is when two young people, especially young people, but it could be older people also, mm -hmm. is uh, don't try to change that person. Uh, let God do the, yeah. the, the, the changing. If you like a, a certain thing in someone, don't, don't try to change them. And, and, and to what you're trying to make them be, but let let the Lord bring that person to you, Amen. and you will be much happier. You won't be trying to to change somebody else's life when they're not willing to change. 
Well, there's, uh, you said it great, both of you, and uh, I recommend people get to your website and see your information. What is your website? www.doorkeeperministries.com Doorkeeperministries.com Yes. A knock and he shall answer, right? Amen. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. All right, everybody. There it was. If you are looking to get married or if you are married, get to their website. You're going to get benefit, benefit from it. Check it out. This is Paul Nees with Tour Life Ministries. Leave your comments and questions below the video. Until then, have a great day and shalom, shalom.